the learning environment is more dynamic than ever before, and as a result, today's learners are very different from those that our educational system was designed for. With the advancement in technology, classrooms are being remodeled and redefined in a number of ways to fit the evolving needs of modern digital learners. With the rise of remote learning, many higher education institutions are substituting traditional resources with education technologies in an attempt to keep up their digital learning population. In today's video, I'm going to point out at five reasons that why technology is important for learning. So if you're interested, please keep watching, but before that, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Let's go! There is no doubt that the use of technology in education is on the rise. As this report by the Australian Council for Educational Research ACER notes, there has been exponential growth in the use of digital technologies this century. The proportion of Australian students with access to a computer at home rose from 91% in 2000 or 99% in 2013. Over the same period, access to the internet grew from 67% to 98%. Technology provides access to an unlimited amount of current information and data from a variety of sources. In addition to the fact that the students approach learning with more enthusiasm and productivity, they also have the opportunity to access to the most current topics and research, which is something their ancestors could only dream about. Instead of going from library to library, they are just a few clicks and will define queries away from accessing information that can give them additional insight into the topics they are covering at a school. So this practice not only enables students to have a modern education, but it also teaches them how to approach the search for information and read complex professional literature. They can choose between real-time learning or learning at their own pace. Technology in education has allowed students to gain control over their learning, but it also provides flexibility to teachers in transferring knowledge to students. Namely, this practice is only possible in a school that supports hybrid learning. For example, a combination of synchronous real-time learning and asynchronous learning where students can listen to a lecture when they choose. Listening to a teacher giving a lesson in real time provides students with a stronger sense of belonging and allows them to socialize with your peers, same as face-to-face -face interaction with the teacher. On the other hand, more independent students who are confident in their own time management and commitment management skills can learn whenever they feel like it. Technology reduces the educational costs. With the introduction of technology in education, resources became more accessible, which resulted in declining tuition fees, the need for books, and their price, as well as the reduced need for school supplies. The introduction of ebooks has made things easier for low income families and helped students to approach learning on equal terms with their peers without parental pressure for high performance arising from large investments into their child's education. In addition, another positive side effect of using ebooks in education is the fact that they indirectly contribute to the reduction of deforestation, which is one of the major environmental problems. Technology adds a fun factor to learning. Outside the classroom, students use technology in all aspects of their lives. Within the classroom, technology will make learning more fun and exciting. Teaching methods such as game-based learning GBL, allows instructors to deliver lessons via interactive games. Who doesn't enjoy playing games? Using a tool like Blue Pulse will teach students about feedback literacy and engage them in learning inside and outside the physical classroom. Technology provides better insight into students' performance. In the past, teachers had to spend considerable time evaluating the overall academic performance of each student, which proved to be very impractical, especially in large classes with over 20 students. Unfortunately, many students never succeed in correcting the wrong steps in learning that can help them improve their performance and patiently discover their talents of affinities. However, with the introduction of digital technologies and the internet in the classroom, 
a teacher's job of analyzing student performance and providing guidelines and advice has become much easier, which is a win-win situation both for teachers and students. Specifically, thanks to platforms that collect data on students' performance in the class, tests, and assignments. Teachers have clear insight into the areas students struggle with or excel at. Moreover, teachers are now able to modify lessons based on insights into the performance of individual students or class as a whole. It is important to note that technology is a tool used in education and not an end in itself. The promise of educational technology lies in what the educators do with it and how it is used to best support your students' needs. So that was for this video. If you enjoyed watching this, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, and here is a question for you. Do you agree that traditional methods of learning will change in the future? I really want to know your idea in comment section down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.